What's going on guys? Welcome to Theory Sunday. We apologise once again for being a little late. It's because we've had a few technical difficulties, but this week has still been really hyped because the new teaser images have been dropped on the Steam post recently and they are really, really awesome. Gives us a lot of information about the new game. So we're going to discuss about that today. So who do I have? Ryan. Other Ryan. Rasmowski. Let's get straight into it, guys. So there have been a lot of speculation about who we could possibly play as in this game and I think ever since the drop of the synopsis in the description of Steam and IndieDB we can see that our theories on maybe it being the purple guy could potentially yeah. be wrong because why would they oh. hire a technician if purple guy is already a technician? Then again it could be a family member, what, what, what do you guys think? I'm, oh, straight off the bat, I'm just going to disagree with the fact that it might actually be the purple man we play as still. And the reason being that they're looking for a night guard, they're looking for a technician that already knows how to run these sort of things and run uh, uh, an establishment or, or maintaining of these robots. And the purple man probably already knows how to do this. If he has not yet been caught as the murderer, then his record's clean. Why would you not hire somebody that already knows how to do the job? If he's already worked in a pizzeria, a restaurant or something like that and has dealt with animatronics and robots before, for. He's got the experience and if you're quickly trying to build up a new restaurant or a new uh, Franchise then you're gonna pick somebody that already knows how to do it And what better yeah. way is to hire somebody you already know mm. if they are if the purple man already owns the business or if he's um uh, some sort of partnership or even just friends with the owners then you would look to your friend and say look uh, Doco, I've, I'm opening my own restaurant my man want to come along and work for me again I know you did a pretty stellar job before saves me time saves you time trying to find a new job because Saws had to fire you because we don't have any more jobs over here but why don't you come over here to my new restaurant and you can help me out here so with it being a sister location with the purple man already knowing how to do these things I think it still could be the purple man yeah, that's my opinion. Uh, yeah, even if the technician isn't purple, man, we, 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 we still need to remember the fact in the source code it was Afton Robotics. So yes. I think some part of Purple Man will be in this uh, game. But um, I want to go back to a theory where Purple Man is... Um, it was actually in um, uh, Those Nights at Rachel's um, when it said the, the killer killed the kids to get rid of the business. What if uh, the yeah. Purple Man was killing kids at Freddy Fazbear's to bring this uh, business like better oh, than the, better than okay. yeah and th that's but definitely what we're going to be speaking about for point two as well yeah. because that is like I think that's something that's now starting to emerge uh, I think the other way you could possibly see this is that it could simply be like a play on words for the simple facts of of course we're going to be taking the role of the night guard mm -hmm. so it might not have any true significance to the story but you know where it says hiring a new technician we are technically the technician during our role there and uh, you know as Raz said as well like they would be hiring someone with previous experience I mean they don't want a night guard to just sit there they want a technician yeah. yep. they want someone who knows how to maneuver these suits and this is where I think it might be interesting and it might pull from the FNAF 3 where we heard about someone who knew the, the layout yeah. of the uh, FNAF 1 pizzeria. They knew yeah. that there was a back room sealed up, things like that. What about if we are playing as this guy here and we learn that? M maybe in like 96 or 7 when we get mm. the paycheck and we see the name and maybe, I don't know, like, throw, I mean, it could include something like a CV, like a resume. Mm -hmm. It might show like, I don't know, previous experience at the yeah. FNAF place. And it might coincide with the two, but there's a lot linking the two together and uh, point two is going to really stress this as well. So this next topic, as we've been saying in part one, is something that's starting to build a lot more behind it. And this actually came, I saw it on Twitter, I'll be shouting out DA Games. This is what brought to my attention, where in the description it actually says, um, Welcome to Circus Baby's Pizza World, where family fun and interactivity go beyond anything you've seen at those other pizzeria places. Other. Why is it not revealing like the Freddy Fazbear's pizza chain? Why is it saying other? And if you actually read through the whole blurb, it's all about with cutting edge technology, new. There's yeah. always something else that they're adding on the end. Yeah. It's almost like the, uh, and you know, as, as Dorco said as well, with the Afton animatronics thing in the source code as well, it goes to show the purple guy is running this, and he's not exactly seen in the best light in any of the FNAF games. We mm -hmm. always see him dismantling the animatronics. What about if he's sabotaging or going over to the FNAF area, and there is this rivalry mm -hmm. between the two companies? companies yeah well the thing is you got to think about the name sister location as we know sister locations are like mcdonald's and kfc is that yes. correct it's kind of like that so i guess like they are yep. competitors in a way they're two different things but they're owned by the same 
kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it can it can kind of be it can kind of be like there can be a McDonald's, but it's not yeah. actually managed by McDonald's. Like the franchise name has been bought out, and that's mm. probably why, for example, you're seeing Freddy Fazbear mm. and Foxy and all these unique characters that but they're shown in a different light because it is. But maybe it is in partnership with the actual FNAF establishments, but maybe Sister Location is running a little bit differently and still trying to get its name out there over the FNAF ones. Well, I mean, they are using the name um, mm. of uh, Freddy and Foxy to obviously drive the customers in, so they're definitely in co uh, cooperation or in some sort of partnership. But at the same time, it looks like they're trying to distance themselves from mm -hmm. what's gone on. Yes. So obviously something has happened at um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria or Fred Bear's Diner or whatever era this is. We don't quite know yet, yeah. but it's looking like something's happened over there. They've decided we need to set up our, another company to make money and we'll use the negative press from the other one to boost our company now. Ah. Basically yeah. saying, this old pizzeria is terrible. Don't yeah. go there. This is awful. Come to us. We've got yeah. new animatronics. We've got new up-to-date technology. Yeah. We can actually knock your kids' socks off with how amazing our animatronics are. Yeah. Why would you yeah. want to go there when you can yeah. come here? They are using the negative press to fuel their mm -hmm. agenda of making more money. It's a great way for the company to abandon one project and go to the next one. Use the mm. negative press as fuel to boost the initial... Um, surge for uh, the new company. Yep. There's, a, there's a gap in the market for Pizzeria because yeah. one is left, so they're filling it. Yeah, it's what Ryan said with the uh, description, like, of that. It seems yeah. like they're trying to be, like, really, like, negative about mm. Freddy Fazbear's They, 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 they even, don't want to speak yeah, of the name. They're yeah, like, ugh. Yeah, not even naming Nothing. it as well. That mm. might be because, yeah, like, the negative press again, but it might be because they don't want to link that Pizzeria with their company yes. because ah. of all the bad stuff mm -hmm. that's happened there. Ah. May, but, maybe then that could mean that the purple guy, as I said before, is actually going over to the FNAF thing, like sabotaging it in the nights and stuff to get the press to talk about that in the bad mm. lights, so that the sister location gets more traction. I mean, the place yeah. looks built up, so something good's happening with this yeah. place, clearly. Mm. It's, it, it could be just revenge again. Like, I don't want to go yeah. to the uh, the novel, but, like, William Afton was jealous of um, Henry I think the that's owner. true. I think that's true. So I he do. could be just doing this at the pizzeria just for, like, revenge and jealousy. Yes. Mm -hmm. With all this talk about, obviously, the, the, the rivalry between the two companies and them not actually naming it, and obviously the point Ryan and, and Doko and other Ryan were mentioning there about how the purple guy could be going over in the in the dead of night doing some ninja killing of kids and sabotaging the other business, it kind of actually gives the purple guy motive. Before, yeah. all we saw with the purple guy was the fact that he was going around killing kids and there didn't seem to be any reason why he was doing it. Was he just a psychopath? What, did he just have a thirst Ooh. for murder? We, di mm. we didn't know any of this. But if he is actually going out to sabotage the other company by this extreme action, but it actually mm. gives him some roundness to the character. Yeah. He's not just... Mm killing for no it, reason because yeah. that's not satisfactory enough there's got there's got to be a, a motive and we've yeah. been trying to work yeah. this out for ages yeah. it, it, it's got to be freddy fuzzbear's pizza because why is he keep why does he keep going to that location yeah he could go to a park or something and kill mm, kids he's he going mm. he's going to the pizzerias all the time so there's obviously a reason why he's going there yeah, I think we yeah. just assumed before it was because he worked there, but yeah. maybe it is because he did work there, set up his own company, and is now going back to mm -hmm. destroy the competitor. Mm. Now, I was going to say, I think obviously we got to think about the source code of the sister location. It does say Afton Robotics, and obviously mm. if the purple guy is William Afton, and he owns these animatronics, then maybe it's more of a case of the top guy, whoever it may be, who owns these little chains, not maybe paying him enough or maybe not giving him enough like uh, credit where it's due. So he mm. decides, right, I'm going to mess this all up for you then and see how you like it kind of thing. I, I think it's based on jealousy, I do. Yeah. Like kind of striking straight into the heart, just like, because jealousy forms from nothing. It doesn't even have to be anything to really cause it other than the fact that someone's just seen. I mean, we see it on YouTube all the time. People just hate on others for no reason at all and there's no no reason for the fuel behind that but it just comes from absolutely nowhere and it, it, it just happens maybe he's not happy with the sister location yeah. wants it to be the freddy fazbear's pizza mm. and so he's making it that freddy fazbear's pizza drops in the ranks and up comes the sister location Okay, so for the final section, we're going to be talking about each one of the teaser images Scott has popped on Steam and IndieDB. Obviously, if we go over to IndieDB, they give the image title names, which is very, very interesting. So we're going to start from the first, work our way to the last in quick fashion. Doc, my man, what do you think? 
Um, the first one's really awesome because it's confirmed now. It says going down that this yeah. is an elevator. But we were speaking about this a while ago, uh, thinking yeah. that it would be an elevator. Um, yeah. I think it's really cool. Um, maybe there is actually an upstairs. Um, or Ooh, maybe yeah. it's just a cut scene at the start of each mm. night where you just go down to the elevator. Um, one of those two. Uh, but it just shows we've never had like um, something like this before. We're yeah. always just yeah. stuck in an office chair in these uh, pizzeria lines. So, yeah, it's just really awesome. Yeah, it gives the place more depth, doesn't yeah. it? It makes it feel like you're physically travelling. Yeah. And I think this could be a great system as well as a way, like, you go down in the elevator each night and this is when you get the phone call. Yeah. I think, oh, and yeah. Then, yeah. then you go into the office and then yeah. you're doing your kind of work and things like that. Yeah, maybe the phone calls get darker and creepier if there yes. is a phone call. Because you can see, like, a speaker on the left there. Obviously, someone yeah. will be able to speak to us, or we're going to be speaking to something, but mm -hmm. it'll be good, yeah, if, like, like in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, it kind of got really demonic and then the yeah. doors open and then that's it, you're... You go in. Th mm, this as well could bring more fear in that aspect because if we've just got in the elevator and in comes the demonic yeah. vocal and we're still going down, we yeah. can't go back up. We're locked exactly, in. Yeah. I mean, you're trapped in there. That, that's the biggest... F I think a lot of people have that sort of fear. If you're trapped, there's no exit. You can't get out. And all it takes is something to jump on the roof or jump and mm -hmm. grab onto the side of the, the elevator. And I yes. mean, we can see everything that's going on outside. So if yep. there is space for somebody to be on top or around the sides, then we're going to see that. And I, I would like to use the elevator in the game and maybe mm -hmm. it's like a sort of fail save so last last ditch effort to survive you jump in the elevator and if you time it wrong you'll die but if you time it right you might just be able to get those extra few precious seconds of survival mm -hmm. before it ticks over to 6 a.m probably i think that's the way it's yeah. well, most likely gonna well, go yeah you, you never know like when it hits 6 a.m you have to mm. go back to the elevator oh so oh, yeah like that. Oh, so you've got like a final countdown, yeah. just a half, half five maybe mm -hmm. even, and and it's like you make your way to the elevator, and that's yeah. when you have to go through the vents, etc. Yeah, and, and yep. if you get I was it just wrong, say. you get it wrong, you die, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. That just brings so much more mm. fear to it as well, because you're like, I've I've made it all the way through the night, but now I've got to get to the elevator. Yeah, yeah. that kind of covers the vent as well, because it's just got it doesn't have much meaning, but we know we can run through it. So what about mm. if this is maybe the way? I mean, uh, granted, it's not the best way, but in the FNAF establishments, it's not really the best you know, layout for us yeah. as a whole anyway, yeah. is they're like, you know, the doors open when power cuts out. Why don't they yeah. stay shut? You know, there's always <laughs> these weird quirks going on. So going for a, a, a friggin' ventilation shaft, it's, it feels kind of normal yeah. now. It, it all depends on how Scott ties it into it because there might be no other way to go through the place because maybe the door's blocked off for whatever reason so you ha physically have to use the vents mm. or maybe it's just a... Uh, S the safest way, the safest way yeah. is to go through the vent because the animatronics can't fit through. It's yeah. oh, I love that idea though, Doco. I mm. love that idea of getting you have mm. to exit because it ties it up as well. Because suddenly it gets to six a.m. and you're free. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Yeah, you just see yeah. your, you just see the yeah, time. Yeah, just like That's I'm it. done. I'm um, end of night. Thank you. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. End of night, which was always fine, but this is better. Yeah. Mm, okay, cool. let's move on to the next one. We've got Into the Dark, which is the vent. We kind of covered that there. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. It's, it's very self-explanatory, unless any of you boys mm. have uh, another point on it. No, oh. I think we raised the points. I think the yeah. more important one is the last three. Yeah. Where, you know, in I See You, we're actually seeing mm. one of the animatronics, which is mm. really interesting, because this looks like a gameplay shot. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, it's weird, because he's making the, the, the small puppet of the Bonnie in the shadows. We've still not seen a proper shot of yeah. this guy. Yeah. So he's always hiding it's, him back there. It's got to be important, that puppet. It's got to mm -hmm. be. I, I yeah. don't think it's just part of a, a hiring. Obviously, this Freddy's meant to do some sort of puppet show. We've not seen Bonnie in the game so or at this establishment whatsoever. So it's a nice callback to Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Uh, the, or, or uh, sorry, the, the Fazbear Pizzerias. Yes. Um, it's a nice callback to them because if somebody went there, then they come here and then it's a puppet show. Yeah. But... It's nice to see that he's got it, so I wonder if it's going to be important overall. Yeah. Mm. Well, talking about the puppet, if you look at just above him, you can see the two eyes that you saw from FNAF World as well. So. Yeah, mm. at, at the end of like... update two, where it says, like, everyone please remain in your seats. It's, it's almost like, and if you remember, we do play as the Freddy character when we're in this, like, 8-bit yeah. style. Well, so it's yeah. almost... Uh, yeah, it's almost like some symbolism. And uh, yeah, exactly, because obviously he's a pu he's got a puppet on his hand, and maybe there's a puppet just behind him. I, I don't know. I reckon that there is going to be some kind of uh, an ad, maybe not an ad, but some kind of paranormal force. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Making everything yeah. go mental. Yeah, it does look like somebody's controlling. It's looming over, isn't yeah. it? It's like a yeah. controlling thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, now the next image is really interesting because this was, we thought, was the main office where all the buttons are. Um, but you see the glass, right? 
and the title says step away from it which is really interesting now we come up with an idea earlier before we recorded this saying it might be the five nights of candy's idea where yeah. blank mm. smashes the glass in the office to get to us so what yes. do you think about that well, I think first things first, we've got to look in the bottom right-hand corner. We can see some kind of panel, again, that we saw, for example, yeah. in the Ballora yeah. Teaser. So we're going to be able to light this up and see what's in front, oh, meaning that yes. could hold truth. And what oh, about if God. we light this up, we get some kind of like, sh we get the sound uh, effect and there's, there's oh, four no. of them. No. They're all staring at us. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're all staring at us at once. This could be a way as well to incorporate Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I think this would work perfectly. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 when you were... Uh, Turn the light on, and then it, when you see it, they see them. I remember when I yes. first ever done that, I absolutely pooed yeah. myself. So, yeah. I mean, like, it, it, I don't know how big these animatronics are, I don't know how big this room is mm. in comparison to these animatronics to us. But if it was mm -hmm. just like a massive face just there, like, or maybe like yeah. the jump scare rather than like blank who smashes the window and then you wait five seconds, it literally oh, just man. comes straight out. Oh, uh, like, yeah, no warning, no indication whatsoever, just comes straight out. Yeah, I, th I think if you turn the light on at the wrong time, which is maybe yes. this time because we've got all the warning lights going off again mm -hmm. this image is if you remember back to the trailer everything going a bit crazy all the lights blinking and flashing maybe this is a big warning because i can't see that just happening the whole night through i think yep. it'd be very stressful on the yeah. ice yeah if, yeah if it was flashing like that the whole time and i don't think that would be um what scott's gonna do i think this is a warning sign and maybe yeah. if we turn this light on then something's going to come through the glass. Yeah. So we've obviously yep. got to step away from here and either press the button that maybe resets the, the mini arenas yeah. or Ballora's yeah. or whatever they're going to be so they can go back onto their stage. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. as soon as these lights come on, we got to get out of there. And yeah. uh, that's literally our last warning for survival. Yeah. So we've seen four of the animatronics as well, and there's four lights just above the image. Do you think each one of these lights might light up when they move off stage? Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I'm thinking. If they've got sort of motion sensors, maybe, or, or, or pressure pads under the yeah. animatronic, because that'd be the yeah. easiest way, wouldn't it? If the pressure yeah. pad lifts, then it makes the connection or whatever, or disconnects it, and the light exactly. turns on. Yeah, yeah. That, that, could be, that, that would be a nice way of learning... And um, without looking at cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. like nights, nights, if there's going to be like a, you know, uh, the dash 20, however many there is of these, yeah. that might be a way to get a bit more of a flow to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we can actually beat this, yeah. So the last image is called primary control module. And as you can see, it looks like a dead end pretty much. So yeah, God yes. knows what's going to happen here. But as you can see, you got two of the power things. Just to the left there, bottom left, I believe that is another yeah. like yeah. little power thing. with yes. the, So maybe it's going to be like FNAF 1, this room, where it's right, left, there's a door on the right and a door on the left. And maybe this is where the vent comes into play, because I don't know how you're meant to turn around. Maybe yes. there'll be some kind of... 360 motion or something, mm. but maybe the vent is just underneath that uh, fan, and that's yes, where you yep. go through to escape the animatronics that might yeah. be behind you yep. or to your right or to your left. I, I I agree with that. I think there could be a vent because it's it's suddenly cut off there, so Scott doesn't want to give away everything. I I think at the very bottom of the image under the fan, I think there is a vent there that you can just quickly slip under if you need to. Again, it's very easy to implement that. You'll just click on the the the, the, the part of it and you'll just glide through like a slippery fish into yeah. the vent system. I think that would be fantastic. A, a point yeah. that I want to raise is because we've got these two identical boxes, or what we're assuming the the one on the bottom left to be is an identical box with the the lightning symbol and the light on it i think if we turn around it is going to be a 360 maneuver yeah. and we actually yep. look back to the image we were talking about previously with the magician character and the bright oh, colored lights. okay i think we turn to oh, the okay. to the left of the image and then we're facing these big um windows where we, where we can see yeah. everything so i think it is going to be a 360 room and that's why you said this is the main was yeah. it primary control yeah. module I think, and obviously we've got what looks to maybe be camera screens around the top. They're all fuzzy and blurry at the moment, like they're full of static. But I, 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 that's my opinion on this image. I, th I yeah. think we're going to have a 360 degree uh, movement in this room. Yeah. And it's going to hint at free roam. But, but, but when I say free roam, I mean free roam, like Five Nights at Freddy's yeah, 4. It's click. a point and click thing. So you click yeah. and you'll do the, the, the cheeky little run or, yeah. a, or a crawl through the vent or whatever. It's definitely not going to be a, a manual movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like the idea that this is behind the glass room because then mm. the glass room is still the primary control module like yes. where we are. Um, yeah. Other than that, if this isn't from behind, I thought like behind could be an just another place where we can go for an event or something like that. Mm. But I, li I like that how this uh, image could be the behind screen of the front control yeah. panel. 
So something that's got me thinking as well about this is that we don't actually have any way, so it seems on screen, of using cameras. However, in the top right, we can see a camera there. Yes. Meaning there must be the camera mechanics, which I think personally is what makes the FNAF series so much fun. Mm -hmm. okay. Watching these guys move around rather than being completely in the dark. So I think potentially this could be a spin to the left, maybe, or the right. Yeah. Of course, because we can see the glass still along the sides linking mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. it looks symmetrical, so we might have also the same thing behind us. Yeah. So how it's going to play in this primary control module is uh, beyond me at the moment. Um, but I do think there might be a way maybe we turn to the other side and there's like a big screen and a camera system. Uh, and maybe that's not going to be revealed because that's just like a gameplay mechanic. We don't really need that revealed yeah. just yet. And, uh, you know, I think the Freddy thing as well might be, for example, a camera view. Mm -hmm. But we're still yet to be confirmed any of that. But it seems like what Scott's doing is because he did say he had new ideas rather than yeah. all it all being stationary just in front of pants and left, pants and right. Yeah. We can physically turn. We can rotate in our seat. Okay, final thing on this episode, we're going to be talking about Ennard's mask, as we can obviously see it right in front of us. Now, my thoughts on this are, if you go back to the Ennard teaser image, then the only clean and non-broken part of him is the actual mask. Mm -hmm, now, yes. my thoughts and feelings here are, that the mask has got a couple of movable parts, as we can see, at least unfolds in half. And if the rest of him is destroyed, why is the mask not? The rest of him is in complete disres disrepair. A joint is something that would easily break, you've seen windows off hinges, doors off hinges, etc. And I think it would be the same. My th thoughts and feelings are, if this mask disappears, Ennard's wearing it, and you know he's active. Yeah. We were talking back again, Ryan. Yes, Ryan. <laughs> Let's do that again. Right. We were talking back again. Ryan mentioned that each one of the lights might correspond to each one of the animatronics. So maybe this is a hint to Ennard's um, uh, being out and about if a light is... Freddy, then the mask is Ennard, and maybe it's a little tip towards him. Ah, and yeah. uh, he's out and about and gonna jump on our face and strangle us with his tentacles of mm -hmm. love. Mm. Quick thing as well, if that red nose doesn't honk, I'll be disappointed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. That was this week's Theory Sunday. We promise we'll do a Theory Thursday the next time. <laughs> um, really interesting one this time, guys. Lots of ideas. And if any of you guys have got any ideas, remember, there's a comment section there. Use it uh, because we like to read uh, what you guys think about this game. We're really excited. And we've all uh, said that we might see um, a, a, another trailer very, very soon. So we're looking forward to that. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. The channels of these beautiful boys will be in the description down below. Lots of love, and we'll see you all next week. Bye.